guys, Red Girl and Army Girl here, making a video on how to make a sharps cartridge for a friend of mine, Max Hanley. Hanley, Hanley. I'm not pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry, Max. First, you're going to need your sharps rifle. Break down the action. Take a bullet like you're going to be using. Put it in, push it as far in as you can, using a dowel or a round rod. And then you want to take something, I don't know, my sharpie, so I'm going to use this little knife. I'm just going to scrape it. Right there is a, meets the chamber opening. And that's where your folds are going to be, and how much power it will take. And I'm going to take the round rod. And pop the bullet back out, which actually popped out too far. Set the rifle aside at this point. I know I need to lose weight. We're gonna need lube, a lighting tray. I use coffee filters. You can nitrate them or not. They actually work either way. These have not been nitrated. And you want to cut them roughly evenly. Even, it ought to be absolutely perfect. I don't I forgot to bring a measure tape with me. They're roughly about four inches wide, by about six inches long. You're going to need glue. Glue sticks work. Though the paint on glue works better, but of course, scissors. I already cut mine out. Powder measure. I'm going to need a dowel to roll them on. Now I've got to build this one up. It's a little bit tight, but it works. But you want to build it up about a hundredths of an inch or so larger than the base of the bullet. Well, mine is almost the same size. But it, it still works. And of course, you don't need your powder. This is um, Grouse 3F powder. Really good stuff. So, what we do is we we'll take the dowel and you where did I put my rod? I know what I was going to do. I forgot to do it. Sorry, I'm not on boobage. I'm going to take my towel. Normally, I would transfer it onto the towel, but I'm going to roll it. But I'm just going to use this little pencil for a moment. Since I'm only doing one cartridge right now. Okay. Kind of mock it. <laughs> really don't have to be six inches long for this, but Okay, got it marked where it should be. short 
cartridges is what to make them. I'm going to roll it until it wraps around this bowel two times. That's for strength. And while it's still on the bowel is where I make my folds. You fold it across and down like that. And it come back up. Some have like Batman ears on it. Take those ears, fold them over. Back up pulling, as my friend Jeff told me. Okay, when you're just supposed to complete the roll, I forgot to step. <laughs> I'm sorry. Add you some glue. Then you roll it over. And while the glue is drying, then you can, like I said, fold it over like that. And get your Batman ears on it. Oh, you look. See? Fold your Batman ears inward. Toward each other. And you want to fold it over so it looks like like this. And then just crimp it there on the top like that. And there you go, there's your fold. Now you can ease it off your dowel. Should make a almost like a pipe. Take your loading block, and do it in like that. I'm gonna cut some of this excess hulks while oh, it's not needed. Powder should be about 55 grains. Actually, 60. 55 with American Pioneer. And I do have a funnel for this. Put layer I don't know. Kind of tap. If you don't have a drop tube, tap it on the side for a little bit. And it'll help the powder settle, and you can actually get a little bit more powder. Fifty-five, I'm sorry. Oops. Fifty-five grains. Sixty was just a little bit much for Okay. Shouldn't be almost at the mouth on the cartridge. Let's see if I can. Almost at the mouth. Oh. <laughs> I'm just fumbling today. Oh, forgive me, guys. Take your bullet, put you some glue on it. Parsley, I like regular Elmer's glue that you just paint on. But like I said, I don't have any right now. You want to fill that bottom green tail and groove with this and just kind of crunch it down onto the cartridge. And what some people do, they'll, at this point, they'll take a string and go around 
around it to help secure the cartridge. I kind of screwed this one up, you guys, to be honest, but that's basically the job of it right there. Then you let the glue, you know, harden, set, or whatever you want to call it. And while that's doing that, I'm going to warm up the lube. Be right back. setting and the loops coming up. I'll show you guys Linger. Say hi to everyone. Ain't he just so precious? He's an American bully pit bull type. He's six weeks old. And he's just my little baby. Oh. My baby. He's sleepy. Tell you that right now. He loves to sleep with the markings on him. I got him from my cousin. She breeds on for service dogs and like police work. I'm going to train him to be my service dog. You shot him. Yes, I am. Here, my dad stomping in. It's okay. It's okay, Ruger. I named him Ruger after my favorite firearms company. Okay guys, so it's taken forever for this stick glue to dry. So I went and got one already finished to finish telling what you gotta do. So you take your lube. I'm not sure what that is. Cody, my boyfriend, made it. I take your bullet by the tail, the cartridge, and you slowly dip it to the base of the cartridge once and let it kind of set up. Do it twice. Let that set up. Put it back into the loading block and let it dry. That's all there is to it. And uh, one last tilt though to it. Um, it hold, the cartridge holds 50 grains of powder, but you still may want to lengthen it just a little bit and load 60. And the reason why I'm saying that. Especially if you're using papers that's not nitrated like these, because when you let up the lever, it shears the end off and spills some of the powder. That way, you get a sheer emission. And I'm not sure, not sure I would do it with 50 even. It's 
just loaded in. It's a 554 caliber, 510 grain ball. It's not moving very fast, but it should be hitting somewhere along the lines of a 50 AE cartridge, um, handgun cartridge. It's nothing to sneeze at out, out to. 300 yards if you can hit good with it that far. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Johnny, the regular old army girl out. 